So now we're going to go to our final speaker, uh, Dr. Ben Black from NI. Thank you, Derek. Good, good morning, everyone. Um, I'd like to take a minute this morning to talk a little bit about power electronics, um, about the use of power electronics for hardware in the loop test, especially kind of where National Instruments sees this going in the future. So just to set the stage for the conversation a little bit, we've talked a lot about hardware in the loop and the concept of hardware in the loop is I have this powertrain system of the vehicle, there's a controller, an inverter, a battery and a motor. And in typical traditional hardware in the loop, we would take that inverter, motor and battery and replace them with a real-time simulation of those things and fool the ECU into thinking that it's communicating with the real physical hardware. Now, obviously, this system, um, very frequently, the ECU and the inverter are actually packaged in the same piece of hardware. So it's difficult to separate the ECU from the inverter. And in that situation, we wanna look at how the inverter and the ECU behave under real power. Now we could put it on a dyno and we could test it with real power or we could do similar things to typical hardware in the loop and replace parts of the system with a real-time simulation. So for power hardware in the loop, the concept is we take that inverter and ECU system and we replace the electric motor or even the battery potentially with a, another piece of power electronics that we're using to emulate the motor and or emulate the battery. Um, being able to reproduce some of the test coverage and the complexity of hardware in the loop testing uh, but doing it so doing so at real power so the inverter is fully exercised uh, through the power stage as well now, national instruments sees a lot of potential in this market space so around the first of the year national instruments acquired a company triphase which is now our research and development center in leuven belgium and we're very excited about being able to bring some of these power electronics components to market the plan is for us to to build flexible multi-channel power conversion systems um, up to 15 kilowatts, up to one megawatt. And we're planning on starting to release some of these products around the end of the year. Uh, we're excited about how this uh, fills out the National Instruments portfolio. Uh, the goal of this, the future plan of this, is to be able to create a very versatile test system that has battery emulation, battery test, inverter test, uh, potentially even dynamometer test, load drives, rapid control prototyping. The concept of the power electronic stage is that it's very flexible, um, stackable, usable for a lot of different components of the application to build up a, a test system that, that, that from a power standpoint uh, matches and parallels the, the flexibility and the configurability of the rest of the NI platforms, the PXI and the Compact Rio tools. Some examples of this motor emulation types of tests you might wanna do, um, obviously power level testing, we would look at inverter efficiency and analysis, but you could also use this power level testing to do accelerator, accelerated lifetime test cooling system test, uh, all sorts of overvoltage, corner case tests that you might not want to do on physical dynamometer hardware. And what that really builds us toward is a test infrastructure system of the future. Um, National Instruments and our partners see the potential of this to have a, a very complex test system where we can swap out and create different pieces of emulated power systems, real power systems, uh, sharing a DC microgrid that allows a very efficient test uh, very low losses in this overall system. And we can generate a, a complex test test facility uh, where we have this very, um, very, very fluid mix of real and emulated devices uh, building out the electric vehicle powertrain test components of the future. Uh, this is a, a really exciting parts of the technology space. We're really excited about our partners in this space, Opal um, and our, our research partners. Uh, we're, we're very excited about where this is all going. And we see a lot of potential for, for our customers to really build out very complex, very flexible, very fluid test architectures. We're, we're really uh, interested in seeing where this goes. So I appreciate you guys letting me come and talk about this vision and about where we're headed. Uh, and I hope that that excites some of you guys out there to think about how to, how to build toward that future. Okay, thank you, Dr. Ben Black. Thank you for that.